Hello, Divine Sunshiners. This is Divine Sunshine. Um, if you would like to have a reading with me, go to my website, DivineTwinSoul11.com. Uh, hit the uh, book online button, and that will lead you on my services page, and that would lead you to my book online website. Uh, I am having a special $11 for um, 30 minutes, and for an hour, that will be on uh, $22. Um, this is for the whole month of July, so please take advantage of the special so you can get a reading with me. Um, I am going to jump right on in. Oh, I also have Instago. I forgot because I'm not going to mention it then. I always remember to do uh, my website, but I forget about Instago. Also, if you want a reading with me, you can go to my Instago account, which is Divine Twin Go Divine Twin Soul Soul Eleven dot com. Uh, you can get a reading with me either by phone, by a video, or either by text, okay? Chat. Um, anything else? No, I'm just going to get right on into it um, with the energies to see. So this time I'm doing something a little different. Um, I promised the last time when I had did that, I was saying that was the end of me doing the looking at the karmics. Um, however, if the comics does jump in, uh, jump through the reading, I will address it then. But again, like I said, I'm at the point now that I am not going to give the comics the power as far as all that attention that we're doing out there and send out negativity or, you know, it's not really negativity. Well, yeah, it is. Be, be blunt, uh, about, uh, what's going on with them because it is what it is. Um, they're doing their job is for our divine counterparts um, for them to come to the point that when the lesson is in, uh, they can't go on and on forever. When the karmic lesson is over with, uh, they have to release and then they move on because they their purpose is over with. And the universe will support that and find a way for them to move them out and just say go on um, to their journey and just like the divine twin will go on to their your counterpart will go on to their part uh, journey as well continue on all right so let's look at some roomy cards to let us know what is the overall energies for the divine masculine okay so this is divine masculine read we're gonna look at everything that's got to do with divine masculine his issues what things he's got to surrender or uh, how he's thinking whatever so if you're cross watching this would be the right one for you. Now, interesting. We have the card from the Rumi, which is Sacred Soul Sister, number 37, which means he's got the Trinity, which means he's got to get in touch with spirit, soul, and body to have spiritual completion, which is number seven. And together, that makes a 10, which is a one, which is really a strong with the zero standing next to the one, which means a strong emphasis on his awareness and his intuitiveness. Okay, so now let's look and see what does that make me sacred soul sister. Interesting. Okay, number 37. What does Rumi say? Rumi, 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 Rumi. Okay, Sacred Soul Sister. When you are conscious, a cloud of sadness surrounds you. When you are beyond consciousness, the moon rests in your arms. When you are conscious, the beloved moves out of your reach. When you are beyond consciousness, the ecstasy of love moves your way. When you are conscious, you are depressed like fall. When you are beyond consciousness, the winter cold feels like spring. All your wavering is due to your longing to be stable. Look for instability until you become stable. Rumi. I love you. I am your other self. I am with you always, your partner on this soul journey. I am the you that you do not see. I am the you that speaks through intuition and instinct. I whisper and sing and shout my crazed truth telling to you. Through your dreams, through your body, I am the you that is wise, that trusts in life, that knows. I am the you that sees reality rather than appearance. I am the you that knows how to be happy and free. 
There's a valid point of view that we travel this path of our life journey alone. Our deepest descents into the psyche happen alone. We meet death alone and come into the world alone. And yet there is a vaster perspective that we are never alone, that it would be impossible to really be alone. We are connected to all of life, and there is no such thing as being alone in reality, only in a limited and temporary perception. As if such community were not enough, there's a partner, an ally who journeys with you from birth to death and beyond again and again. You have a sacred sister, a sister of your soul. She weaves the stories of truth through dreams and insights that come upon you as if from nowhere. Perhaps they drop into your mind or seem to erupt from within you, but that is her talking to you demanding or reassuring, depending on what the occasion best calls for at that moment. Her truth may seem overly dramatic, so you may discount them as workings of an overactive imagination. Sounds like the divine feminine. Or perhaps her truth tales are so subtle you dismiss them as meaningless, fleeting fancy. The wise one know. However, that the truths of the sacred soul sister are powerful, relevant, and worthy of time and attention. They know how often time, strange and startling offerings hold the keys to unlock entire worlds, to open up new realities, and to transform the nature of our existence from the deepest and most esoteric spiritual levels. Esoteric, I'm sorry spiritual levels to the most palpable, practical, daily realities of our living bodies in the physical world. Your sacred soul sister is your partner in consciousness. Make no mistake, she is you. She is just a part of you so great you cannot always see her from your conscious mind. It is sort of like the eye of the dog trying to see its whole self, which is a bit tricky for as it, it moves to see its rear, so the rear is moved along too. So rather than through direct perception, the sacred soul sister is met through reflection. She can be received in those moments of rest where great ideas are born. She is a genius, you see, vastly creative and inspired. Her worlds are those we access in sleep and meditation or absorbing engagement and activity where the mind can relax and drop into realities far more vast than those of daily life and be replenished so right now from what i'm reading here sacred soul sister represents the divine feminine and she right now is at the point that you're coming divine masculine into the knowingness of who her true identity is, what she represents in your life, and what's the place and the role she plays in your life right now. You are now coming to the awakening point of knowing this, that she is you and you are her, or she is he and he is she, and all of those terms that she is you, just like they said, the dog. The dog will try to see his rear end, but every time he moves to see it, he moves himself. What does that mean? That means that we are reflection and those things that we are seeing in our divine counterpart, divine masculine, are those things that we see in ourselves. She is not a mystery. She is really you. And you need to find out to unveil those things within you. So let's take a deeper look at Divine Masculine and see what is the, um, what are you thinking? What's on your mind? So we're going to ask the Divine Masculine. Here we're going to ask the, oh, this don't belong here. Come over here. We're going to ask, clear the, Yes, that's right. Okay, we're going to ask the divine cards. You were the only one that's in the wrong spot. Excuse me one second. I'm going to get you. Turn you around. You're wrong. You're wrong. Uh. Okie dokie.
clear. Let's look and see. Okay, so okay, what's happening with the divine? What is he thinking? Pass me something. What is in his heart space? I'm seeing two, so I'm gonna do this. Wow. Ooh. Okay. God of vulnerability. What's in your mind space is you're just learning how to be vulnerable to this idea of you have a divine feminine. You have a divine twin who is a feminine. Being vulnerable to put down all of, thank you Archangel Raphael, putting down all of this armor, these emotions, this blockage, this uh, wall that you put up. You're getting now to the point that really is saying, I'm putting it all down and I'm really seeing the divine feminine, my counterpart for who she is. Um, and I'm also revealing myself as reflection at the same time in this process. This is what you're thinking of right now, divine masculine. Um, just really at this point, it's just really putting all those armors to the side and really seeing, um, I seen in the video they were saying about, um, one of them said that each time when he sees the divine um, feminine, his counterpart, that he's always scanning, looking for ways to test her, um, like almost like you're almost in battle. Like, let me try this way. Let me try this strategy. Let me try this way to see what's on my divine feminine's mind. Is she true to me? Is she really the real thing? And you just always find yourself divine masculine's in testing her mode just to really test the love test where she is test is she the one uh and right now this card represents you in your mind space you're at a point that you're saying you know what i'm ready to kind of lay all this armor down and just really stop playing every trick in the book to try to test and see who she is is she passes almost like that uh i'm seeing like uh kevin hart is coming out with that new series or was that american gladiator uh, where they go through all them series of things to test. You got the divine feminine going through all them series of things just to test to see if she really there, yo, ride and die um, through this thing. Is she really just the one? So you're putting those things down. You're becoming more vulnerable. In your heart space, um, you're dealing with, you got to deal with some shadow work, uh, shadow aspect, and I'm going to read and look into that. Um what I'm seeing as far as your emotions. Uh this is the feminine, but your body your emotions how you feel about her, but even your emotions being in as the divine masculine. Uh just finding the courage. You you caging her in. Uh you kind of viewing her in a certain to me when I'm looking at this, it's like you're viewing her a certain way. It's like, you know, she's evil, you know. She's really not way things are not how it's opposed to a scene. I'm I'm looking for her to come out the trick bag uh, in a second. She's about to come out totally different. Uh, she looking like this angel, and she looks vulnerable here, and, you know, this, but really behind her, well, behind the closed doors, uh, she get all the makeup and everything, and she's, uh, you know, devil incarnate. Uh, this is what you, you keep on picturing and seeing her doing. So you got to work with that shadow aspect of how you really viewing Maybe feminines in general. Uh, maybe you had some issues in the past if it caused you that. But uh, really, you you you're caging her uh, because of this thing that you're really trying to deal with. How you really viewing things? Remember again, like they said up here in this card, she's a reflection of you. So really, if you're seeing something like some evil that's going on with her, you got to check yourself and see. Okay, what am I doing? with my uh within myself um so you got to do some shadow work as well with you um to really kind of see uh what is it why am i viewing her in this way uh, again in your heart space is fear you i mean just really petrified fear that you really now you know the identity of your divine feminine and you ask it pretty much yourself it's like okay now what i do with this what do i do i don't know what was my role? What does she expect from me? What do I expect from her? Uh, I just really know now she's here. What do I actually do? 
Okay, so let's ask the cards about surrendering. What do we need to surrender at this point here? Okay, it's kind of clear, but what do we need to surrender? What do we need to surrender as far as this vulnerability? Let's ask each one. What does the Divine Master need to surrender as far as this vulnerability? What does he need to surrender as far as this shadows of uh, aspect? What does the Divine Master need to surrender as far as the shadow of aspect? Ooh, ooh, too many cards, just one. Yeah. Thank you. So we we'll do fine. And what does he need to surrender as far as this fear? Okay, so as far as the vulnerability clarifies for that, what you need to surrender is your trust. You got to trust to be vulnerable. I know this. I read the bottom where it says, trust yourself in your decision. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So right now, some of you all say, I know that's my divine feminine. I know who she is. I'm starting to try to make my way towards her. I've got to make courage. I got to put down my defenses, hold myself up. I did some things in the past that ran my divine feminine off. Uh, and now this is my next thing I didn't do. So you got to trust the process. You got to trust yourself. Got to, again, use your heart as your GPS system to let you know what path and what road you need to take in order to have that successful uh, union or reunion with your divine um, feminine. Uh, you got to also uh, block out these other people's opinions because a lot of them are really going to try to sway you and tell you, you know, no, nah, she's not the one, you know, the person you with right now is the one, if you're in karmic situations, uh, you, I'm sure you got family members or peer friends talking about, man, she all that in a bag of chips, I don't know why you trying to get with that other one, she ain't your type, and you trying to say, but I don't care, somebody her, I can't get her off my mind, this is exactly who I want to be with. This one is a person that y'all keep on talking and pushing into my face. She is not the one. Uh, so you got to learn how to trust the process. Trust who your heart said you belong to and take action. Uh, the next one is uh, for the shadow aspect, you got to let go of the stress. You got to surrender the stress, which it says take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. And I want to say, sometimes you be so stressful, you start almost hallucinating uh, at the point that you your stress is making it seem uh, the situation with the Divine Feminine worse off than what it seems. Um, you know, you're stressing about, okay, uh, when I do approach my Feminine, what's she going to say? What's she going to do? She's going to slap me in my face. Uh, you know, she's not going to accept me. Um, those things, you're looking at the shadow self of her, uh, this is how she going to greet me, looking uh, scowling and, and whatever, you know, I knock on the door and she's about, who is it? And he's like, it's me. She's like, I don't remember you because I ain't seen you in five years. And, you know, you scared about those kind of reactions going on. Uh, you know, uh, surrender your frustration. Uh... When you're doing shadow work, a lot of times you have a lot of, you know, ups, those, those, um, tile moments. You're trying to reveal and strip yourself almost like, uh, doing, getting paint off the wall or standing down the floors and doing that, you know, you're starting from the bed necessities. You're getting rid of all that grime and grit and, uh, um, finish that's been from years past and you're really trying to get down to it. And at some points you're frustrated because sometimes, you know, I know even myself, something comes along and it triggers you and you're back to looking at this divine feminine in this state where you're saying, okay, I'm trying to concentrate. This is how I will see her. She's not trying to do anything bad to me. She's for me. She's not working against me. And something comes along, trigger you, and you're back to looking at her in this space. Uh, and so you've got to kind of work on that, not being frustrated when you have those moments of when you do kind of convert 
and go back. It said frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a, a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a deep breath, send yourself and re regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. And that is true. So when you ever you get those points where you're looking at her as in that kind of light where she's going back to this, you need to take a deep breath, step back, and then readjust yourself and recenter yourself. And start seeing her for the divine goddess that she is instead of seeing her karmic. Some of us, some of you are divine masculines, uh, are taking your divine feminines and you're putting her in the karmic role and saying she's the karmic when she is not. And some of you all are now seeing that she is that sacred soul sister and she is now um, truly your divine counterpart. And that's what you, so when you do slip slide and you fall back, you know, don't get frustrated. We all have been there. Uh, when we're talking about as far as fear, surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, some of you all are fearful of going to getting that dream, being with the divine feminine. Uh, that is your ultimate goal, so, but you are fearful of that. You don't think that the universe or Things are supported, and even if you do get with it, she's not going to support you and your efforts. Uh, you think, okay, now I'm with my divine feminine. Now I got to work on uh, these outsiders, these friends, these family members that are saying something. And I see that's really a constant theme in a lot of the divine um, feminine, um, masculines, excuse me, is a lot of you all of, so surprisingly enough, as strong as you all appear to be as men, you, I would think that you wouldn't kind of care about what other people think or see uh, about you as far as your love life or what you do. But a lot of you all is from that ego standpoint. And you really are caring about how other people see you, family members. Some of these people ain't even worth, uh, like I said in other analogies, they have been there since age five. You ain't seen them since you came back to age 35. And... You care about what he says. You care about his value. He don't even know you in between those, how you change and how you have evolved. But yet you letting him go ahead and pick the love of your life. Uh, say, I like her, you know, because she seems like she's really nice. And he's like, okay, but you don't even know me and know what things I like. So, you know, you got that friend that talk you into getting you into stuff. Hey, we got, we got one of them friends who jump you off the... They be talking about, yeah, let's jump off the cliff. You're like, okay, yeah, let's do that. We're going to do this Monday at 5. And you go there at the place, get ready to jump in Monday at 5, and that friend ain't nowhere damn around at 5 o'clock. You say, okay, well, I'm going to wait until 5, 5, 30. We're going to jump off this cliff together because he ain't sold me on it because we going to do this. And 5, 30, roll around, okay, now nah, uh, we going to do this. He probably late. Maybe he went to go buy some beers or something like that. Cause, and then we're going to toast. And then we're going to jump. Six o'clock roll around. Well, you know, he, he probably got called traffic something. I called his cell phone. He ain't called back. Uh, probably that. He ain't even think about it. So everybody got that friend. I definitely know that in God's circle. You got that friend talking into every damn thing. You look around. He ain't nowhere that got your back at all. So this is uh, what we talk about, them friends. So you got to watch them type of friends, them family members. They kind of talk you into stuff. And they help her to really feed into this fear uh, about you being with the divine um, feminine. Okay, uh, those are the things. Let's look at some issues. What's the things that you got to deal with that's helping us to clarify the surrender, the frustration, and scarcity? Let's we'll see about this. What are some, give me about this trust issues. What's the things you got to work to help you with this trust, divine masculine? What's the things you got to work on? That's that clear? Clear? What things do you have to work on as far as your trust and your vulnerability? Okay, anti-hero, maverick, risk taker, rule breaker. Okay, so some of you all, you've been vulnerable, but some of you all uh, has got to work on you following that's like i said about them friends or what their family members saying you got a set idea of how this woman should be as far as in your life your significant other this divine feminine is not fitting that mode or apparatus uh in which you feel that she should 
and this is uh, causing a problem because you're scared to be a maverick, a risk taker in this. You got an 18, which means uh, you got to follow your intuitions and your awareness and create a balance between that, your what your heart and your mind is saying, and forget what the outside people are saying. So you got to trust, and you got to become vulnerable to the idea of the divine feminine um, being the one. Okay, what's happening with the frustration? frustration and the frustration the shadow aspect and the stressed what's going on with that okay compassion empathy sympathy yeah you got to be sympathetic to yourself all uh, right now this all goes to that and have empathy and kindness you got to be very almost like the divine feminines you got to nurture yourself you got to become uh, very nurturing. You got to bring out that mother, the mother side of you to say, it's okay, your best. You know, like, I got you, dude. You know, it's all right. You know, uh, you just kind of slipped a bit. You got a little triggered by something that the feminine said to you or somebody said or did to you. Uh, let's get back on that course and let's go ahead and start all over again. You got to be sympathetic to yourself. Can't be hurt, uh, you know, um, can't be harsh on yourself. You got to treat it just like she's got that yourself when you're tired and you're worn out and you just don't know what to do you got to kind of find compassion about that and then also let's get a clarify about this fear and this surrender because scarcity uh what is that about let's get a clarify for that what's the issue you got to work with on that wow okay The monster within, internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve, right, the scarcity. So you got an instant struggle right here. Uh, you got a struggle, you got a couple of blocks according to what they said in this card. You got your infinite abundance. You got a struggle of understanding how this all is going to come together. Uh, these personal challenges as far as how you view uh, your abundance in life. Uh, how you be able to succeed and get things through wildest dreams as far as getting this um, union with your divine uh, twin soul, which is your divine feminine. You have issues with that. You want to improve to make that happen. Let's delve deeply into this. What do you need to improve? Clear. What do you need to improve? Forgiveness, forgiveness of yourself. You got to nurture yourself. This is a constant thing with the feminine and you. You've got to nurture. This is, to me, this is nurturing. You got to kind of cradle yourself. You got to nurture. Both of them, look at this, the theme here. See how it's taking yourself? Both of them are cradling something in your arms. You have got to get to the point that you got to be easy with yourself divine masculine you can't be so harsh um really on this you know this journey you make some wrong turns like the gps your heart leads you your mind your mental body leads you or your emotional body leads you in the wrong direction and you got to get to the point that you just really kind of just sweep yourself up say it's all right cuddle that inner child within you ask your inner child what does it want uh you know as far as to create healing forgiveness and remember this like i said in the other thing when you are having a hard time forgiving others it's like drinking poison expecting the other person to die it's just not going to happen okay in the process while you're drinking that poison which is that unforgiveness you're slowly creating a death within yourself okay um let's look at some romance let's really look at how you're looking at this situation with the divine feminine clear what are some ways that you're looking at the divine feminine okay so right now you're in the process that you want to release your ex okay so here we go we can tell right now some kind of situation is popping up into this issue 
Let's ask what is the... Uh, let's do a three-card draw on this. I'm interested to in know. I'm going to shuffle it again. Okay, flip it over. Three card draw that came up before. So it's saying, so you released your ex. So you got some control issues. You thinking that you will control everything. Everything's all right. Uh, again, with this, seem like that family. I'm seeing family unit. There's an issue. Uh, you got the angels trying to tell you about this. You've been sitting here for a while trying to make decision with this uh this other feminine in this issue okay so the karma is, karmic is making an appearance in this reading so whatever it is it's got this children issue you've been sitting there thinking thinking looking at her with the children seeing about what's happening here with come shaquita with little shaquan you've been thinking and thinking about how you gonna go about with this this issue uh about this so it said again uh allow this situation to unfold naturally and you really been trying to sit there and let that happen just naturally unfold but i'm telling you this right now when you're doing that that's not really helping the situation because you're not making any kind of forward movement for the universe to help back you right now although no movement is movement but there needs to be some kind of movement on your part to help so the universe can help uh back you and have your back on this one okay so let control third one you at the point right now that you know that you need you deserve love you at the point that you want to point your arrow i'm looking at this two ways you want to point your arrow in a different direction your emotions in a different direction when it comes to this other person uh that's in your life okay uh although it's upstream from what other people will say but you're divine you're being divinely guided that it's time to steer your emotions in a different direction and for you to get more laser beam on this decision that you need to make and you need to do like the target sign aim for it and shoot instead of just standing there holding that because after a while her arms is going to get tired and she stay in this position and when she does decide to shoot uh she might and aim for whatever she's targeting for on that bullseye she may or may not be able to do it unless she's a skilled um, target or uh, archer um, to be able to do that. Uh, another way you could look at this too is I'm seeing this is also the divine feminine. You're feeling also the divine feminine is at the point that she said, I want, I deserve love and I want to point my arrow in a different direction. And she too is getting talked to by the uh higher um realms uh and angels and guys is telling her i think maybe for a while maybe you need to point your arrow in a different direction it might be mainstream or uh, going against the mainstream in which everybody's saying well you a divine feminine you ain't supposed to be thinking about letting this journey go but just like i read in the divine feminine spread you do things or whatever it is that's needed for, to nurture you because I know I probably got some cross watchers trying to see what's going on with this reading so this is also your sense of this too as well that she says she deserves deserve love okay third car you know at this point you at the point that you know that this could be the one you know that this divine feminine just like I say up here this soul sister hey sister go sister soul sister soul sister hey sister go sister go sister okay so you know that this soul sister right here is the one it ain't no it's answer buts to it you didn't got to the point you didn't test her just like i showed you in the other greeting you didn't dealt with your shadow aspect yourself you trying to shift there and you saying uh-uh no way i'm looking at her i know she's not really that one she is what she is there but i keep on getting triggered and thinking that she's some kind of other way but you at this point, like I said, you've already met the romantic party you see. And you know that is what you are on the road of uh, doing. And for just for good luck's sake, we got true love. Okay, so you know that this is your true love. Okay, so that's the four card draw with that releasing your ex. Okay, so now this uh, comment that made her way into the reading. 
So now let's go on here and let's go and deal with delve into that. So let's pull a karmic. What's going on with this? Why are you at the point now that you want to release your ex? Because now you say she got control issues. You deserve love. Uh, this could be the one. And true love. What's going on now? What has changed? I've talked to you, talked to you, talked to you. And let's let's look at the energies. And now I'm going to go to the karmic thing. What 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 energies did now change? Who am I missing? Is that these? Oh, yeah. I want to talk to you all. Okay. So what's, what's, what's going on here? Why are you at this point that you want to release your ex? You know you got to let go of control issues. You deserve love. This could be the one. And this is true love. What's going on now? Okay, all y'all kind of feel. Okay, I'm going to read all every last one of you all. Okay, what's going on with your divine master? So this is what's happening there. The door to spirit has opened up. Now you are seeing a new way of by as far as what you're saying with this uh, divine feminine, with this karmic feminine. Uh, you, it's things, spirit is flowing in, you get new downloads, that's what it looks like to me, you intuitively, the spirit is working with you, you're getting more feeling of peace feeling when you think about the divine feminine, you got three, which is Trinity card, and now you want unity, so that's one issue, uh, you're at the point right now that you want to walk away, uh, you seeing, uh, you, uh, or you might even see in this karmic feminine walking away, or you might even see your divine feminine is walking away. Uh, there are both of you finding unity and it's a spiritual completion, which is two and seven together, which is a cycle of completion number nine, which is seven plus two equal nine. So you're at a uh, cycle of completion right now with this one. Uh, and so this is what you're seeing. Uh, this being that I'm looking at this because she's beautiful. The divine feminine walking away is something that you don't want to see. She's got this pink, which is the high uh, uh, chakra of love, the heart chakra. And you probably saying, I don't want her to really take my heart with her wherever she's going. And she's going to walk away. I don't want her to really walk through that gate um, to go on to the other side. Because I know if she does that, she might be lost forever. Uh, right now, you know that you got to take some form of action. Uh, you got the one to seven. They go that number 17. The 17 came up, number came up in the feminist reading. Uh, you know, you got to take some form of action. The one is maybe you relying on your intuitiveness, your awareness. The seven was the spiritual completion. Together makes an eight. You got to come up with a balance and a harmony of how you're going to make this action. This to me represents the divine master and trying to catch up with the divine feminine. Again, this confirms what I did in this card is that she is walking away. She's running away and you say, hold on, wait a second. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. So you want to catch up to where she is because she's she she ain't about to go into full gallop. And you look like you like hold up, wait a second. She trying to leave me? Wait a daggone second. This is full gallop right here. It's like I'm about to gain this speed. And when I take off, I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch up to me where I'm about to go. I'm just gonna keep it blunt and up front with you. I'm keeping it one hundred. Uh so so this is all in green. Green is forefront. So that heart chakra when she takes off is put on her past and set forth for what her heart's desire is. Uh, I don't know, you up there in standing mode, to me, he look like he just trying to play it cool, you know, because I know I look good, got this beautiful black glistening mane, and my fur is looking good, he looking at his straight horse Fabio mode, and she look at, <laughs> to me, she white, but she look tired and worn to me a little bit, but she like, I'm about to take off, because it's enough of this, you taking a lot of my... To me, she look like, to this horse look like a lot of her energy. This look like I've been sitting still and been gaining my strength. And this one, you can tell she been hard at work right here. So she's like, uh-uh, I'm, I'm off. I'm about to go gallop somewhere else so I could just sit there and be going off to greener pastures. That's that. Um, some things, you didn't have some issues and some envy. Uh, number 20, which means unity coming together um you know what um, and i'm gonna say just like i remember daniel boom and said some of uh the our divine counterparts have a quiet um hate hater uh, hate nation uh hatery going on 
with their counterparts. You know, they see them doing things. They see them in the divinity. They see the divine feminine handling their business well. Um, she's doing things in divine, her divinity. And they like, you know, I want to be like that, you know. Uh, and uh, they 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 kind of envious as to what she is that she knows she's been knowing she's divine she's been working with her divinity and her power she's been manifesting things she's been on her grind uh, she's been even taking on two roles the divine feminine with so is divine masculine role and at the same time he's just having a hard time uh, dealing with this and so in fact, instead of him dealing with the healthy way. He's uh, you, divine masculine. You've been at the point that you have been um, kind of envious of her knowing that she is divine and knowing what to do. And you're like, I wish I had the instruction manual uh, th th to be able to do the things that you do. Okay, so some of you all have been kind of envious. Uh, uh, we got here all tied up. Uh, this is in reverse. Uh, you got the two, which is unity, and three, which is the spirit, soul, the trinity card. Uh, you seeing, uh, this is the divine feminine, and you kind of maybe seeing her really uh, all tied up in her business, really on her grind of doing her divinity, just like I say, you've been envy of it. And um, you seeing her really being on what she's supposed to do. I'm also picking up from this card is that uh, you talk about releasing your ex. Uh, you not really is um, tied up to things as it seems that that you really want freedom. This is what it freedom from being tied up with this karmic uh, thing. This is really because this person right here, this woman. She got something over her head, which reminds me of that other card that's in the Romance Angels, where she's not really being forthright with how she's communicating uh, what's going on in her head. She's hiding something. Uh, so this could be the karmic as well. Um, she's got something to hide. Uh, but then this also could be the Divine Feminine, in which you're feeling, again, like I said, thank you. That she has something to hide too, and that's what's causing this shadow work and this um, this fear that you have as well. Um, does that have one? I'm gonna read this and see do I get inspired. I'm not satisfied with that with that, but at the same time, you want to have victory. I definitely know this. Um, so no, you did. You Archangel Raphael uh, had chimed in on this, so that's also correct. Um, you want to have victory. Uh, you got your two, which is your unity, and your eight to find your balance, two and eight together, which one is your intuitiveness and your awareness, which is emphasized by the zero of a cycle. This got to come to an end to make sure that you are one with your intuitiveness, that you trust what is going on. And so you want to really have victory in pulling away from this uh, X, being with your true love, and knowing that this could be the one. I'm going to read what is this all tied up card means at number 23. The Michael Jordan card. What is this? I just want to make sure I am um, seeing this right. Uh, this came, no, it came in the reverse, not upright. Okay, the card reverse is telling you that the ties that bind are about to break loose. A previously stuck situation is opening up, and the restrictions are clearing out. This card reverse also indicates that you are ready to break free from the habits and patterns that have kept you tied up for so long. Get ready to free yourself. You have all of the power and clarity at this point. So untie the binds of the patterns that have stopped you from being authentic and empowered. Now is the time to liberate yourself. Okay, I want to investigate a little bit more about what uh, I said about you on releasing. Let me look at this 23. It was something in here that caught my eye. 
your habits and patterns. That's what I want to know. What's the habits and pattern? This one. No, words. you will get really to the point. I'm for you. Let me see. What are the habits and patterns you need to be released from? Clear. What is the habits and patterns that divine masculine needs to be cleared from? Okay. Got you. Time for a nap. You're doing too much. I told you. What that card right here? I told you this 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 card right here. Is Fabio sitting pretty, but ain't no action. She look like she been hard at work right here. She just been working, working, working till the baby look like she almost down to the bone. She should be white and pretty, but something about her energy looks drained to me because she's just been working, working. But you looking a beautiful, maintain all in the wind, hair glistening. She ain't got no type of sheen or gloss to her look. She just been out there working, working out there in the pastures in the field. Time for nap. You've been doing the issue and the patterns and the habits that you have been doing. Is You've been doing too much sleeping, Divine Masculine. Too much sleeping on the job. You sly as a fox. This is a little fox right here. You know what you need to be doing, but you just like, sit here. If I ain't got to do the work right now, you know, I ain't going to do the work. I'll kick in when it's game time, when it's time for me to hit the field goal. Because, I, you know, my understanding with Divine Masculines, uh, when it comes down to it, uh, they, when they really catch into gear and really know what's at stake with this Divine Feminine and the losing them, they're going to be able to move in quantum leaps. I mean, they're going to be really moving in fast real time to catch up with this divine feminine although he's up there kind of look like he in slow mode but when she takes off he gonna be just like uh uh back to the future when he got into that uh the the um is it a ferrari it wasn't a ferrari what was that car it was the dorian and uh that car back then and really take off and he gains speed, he's going to really catch up. And you better watch it in some ways, and I feel that too. He's going to be so advanced that he might even surpass the feminine. So she got to keep her game going, you know, to be right there uh, galloping alongside the divine masculine and not he don't leave her behind because he has within him, he sets that, that power button on, you know, just like uh, the Fast and the Furious. Remember they had that race with uh, uh, Vin Diesel against somebody else, and he looked like he was about to lose. And he sat there, put that uh, that fast, whatever kind of uh, power stuff, he turned that thing on. And before he know it, he had the, the guy he was neck and neck with, and he was like, bye, I'm gone. You know, that's the same thing he does that. So... I know you smart. You smart like a fox, lie like a fox, cunning, clever like a fox. You know how to get out of this situation. But the bad habit you're having is that you're too lax and too like the hare and the tortoise. You're going to wind up being cocky because that ego say, I got it. I'm going to catch up with her. You know, I'm in the meantime, I'm going to deal with this karma, do what I got to do, and yada, yada, yada. And you're going to find yourself left behind the eight ball okay so that's something that you got to work with that's a bad habit okay so uh do time on that what is that are there any um things what things are you slacking in let's see the actual numerology cards clear what's the things that your the habits that you snap you need to you've been napping on as the kids say they they lacking they be lacking what things are you lacking on what well, things are the divine masculine lacking or napping on? Taking too much of break, too much relaxation on. Uh, completion. Making this karmic situation come to a completion. You playing games. You sleeping. You ain't been making no forward movements. You ain't made no decision. You just been just like this horse. Just been standing there watching the divine feminine do all of the work. Okay. That's an issue. You got to come completion. You got to deal with that. How you make that come into completion, you got to mess with that third eye. You got to deal with that. That sixth chakra. 
and making sure that you see this coming into completion. You seeing yourself saying goodbye to the karmic. You seeing yourself coming into union with your divine feminine. Those things. We got the number nine, which is the completion of a cycle. It is time. These are the times between now, July 13th, and I believe all the way until definitely the 20th, July 27th, all the way up until November is the time of definitely, uh, definitely, Karmic completion, July 27th is going to really get things going. I think with the eclipse that they stated, the blood red, blood moon coming in is really going to cause that. So it's time to catch and get into gear. And then the other issue that you've been napping or lacking on is change. You just have not been changing. You've just been standing still like this horse, seeing the divine feminine do all the work, and you haven't been doing your stuff. It is time to change. Uh, this deals with the, um, your manifestation um, chakra, which is up above the solar plex in between the heart uh, as well. Uh, this you have to deal with uh, getting that together. Um, so I'm going to say your intuition, your crown, uh, dealing with that as well, uh, getting this. Um, but you got to change. You got to change your intuition. You got to change the way you're seeing things, how you're visioning things, how you're communicating with your twin uh, in making this happen. That has got to change as well. So now since the comic has came into play, let's see what's happening as far as um, into play. So what's on, what's going on with you in the comic? Divine Masculine, too many cards. Tell me in one card what's going on. Thank you. Okay, so right now I'm seeing the Queen of Cups. So right now, Divine Masculine, you're trying to make this uh, Divine... Uh, the, 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 you are trying to make this karmic, excuse me, and pardon me, karmic feminine, like the song Shaka Khan and Whitney Houston are picking up. I'm every woman, this all in me. Anything you want done, baby, do it naturally. Okay, well, when you look at this, this ain't natural. She's not every woman. She's not the divine feminine. You got her doing everything, trying to nurture you to do everything. Uh, you're probably getting trying to get out of her financially things, uh, material things, uh, uh, comforts of home. If you're living in a situation, you're trying to make this child, this uh, not child, this divine, uh, this not divine, this karmic feminine, excuse me, uh, everything. Um, looking at this and this is not naturally she's pouring out things that look to me like it's almost toxic um like something that like at a nuclear plant to me this is what it is that she's pouring out this is not flowing things are not flowing naturally in the relationship you got the moon which is half there so this is some a lot of illusions that are going on uh you got shells clam shells half baked this is what I'm thinking a lot of half baked and this up there in the mind a lot of half baked ideas been going on uh I'm thinking it's all in the it's in the clamshell like you said pearl that you're going to get out of her pearl wisdom but you know like you got to really work at it and to get those pearls out of them clams um you got down here, you got two Scorpios. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody got Scorpio rising, Scorpio in a chart, Scorpio, Scorpio in a moon, Scorpio is the ascending. So this is a Scorpio I'm seeing. Um, uh, separate with Scorpios, you think you, you can't trust them because that stinger back there, if that get a hold of you. Um, that's it. So she's really doomed to sting you anytime soon. The crow is crowing. You got two of them looking both ways and they trying to warn you. She about to sting you and it's coming. It's coming. 
you didn't try to make her everything and you know right now that way she's looking and i told you you didn't wore from all the other videos that i did you didn't got this child to the point that she's unrecognizable she might have came out at the beginning she might have been cute she might have been nice looking but you didn't wore her down so much that this is not how she's looking and maybe at this point you thought she was one way and now it's gotten to the point in the situation She's looking like this to you. Just a, just an old hag. She might be nagging you or getting on your nerves. And you don't see anything beautiful about her anymore. And she might still be, after she get out of the situation with you, she might be uh, go back to being cute again. But right now, she's not. You got some half-baked ideas about how you're going to make this. And you made her try to be every woman. You can feed off of her all different kind of things from her to nurture her to get from her breastfeed and just been sucking on her uh and she's pretty much it seems like she's supple and full to be able to do that because she's pretty much this this uh karmic is very resourceful she can produce things out of the sky uh make things happen if it's finances that you need or things that you need or resources she's tapped in she's very resourceful she's very professional i'm picking up too that she could be able to to do these things but what she's pouring now into your life is right now is toxicity. This is toxic. I keep on picking up like a, a nuclear plant, like, you know, the swamps that's pouring out the waste. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. So it's just waste she's pouring into your life. This don't look natural, natural water. And that's not water. It's an illusion that's going on. Got a lot of half big ideas coming from this. Right now the crows is crowing. Uh, they done told you about that about these scorpions she getting ready to sting you from both sides from east sides and they both trying to warn you both ways the crowed and crowed uh and you didn't deny it i think about jesus uh paul when he denied or peter denied jesus three times and the crow said each time before the crow crow three times or whatever it is excuse me i feel like medea tell my own version of the bible but when that happens you have denied me and you have denied all that you have turned this comic into all that you didn't try to get out of her you have denied 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 uh and that's what i'm getting this queen of cups you try to make her into uh this queen this overflowing but this stuff that she's giving you is toxicity okay um how i'm doing with that um what has caused this? Who's gonna give me? I need uh, somebody to give me straight. These, these are my truth tellers right here. I love these. Clear. What has caused this to happen? What's caused this to go for the karmic to become into this position? What's going on with this karmic situation? Clarify this Queen of Cups card for me with the karmic feminine, please. Thank you. Across your legs. Thank you, so I can get it. Burnt by the sun again. What you say was a uh, Icarus, Icarus, the god uh, that d flew up to the sun with the wings. Carl said he want to get close to the sun with the wa wax wings and then fall and fit made himself fall. Well, we know the divine masculine is the sun, and by them doing this, has caused him to. Um, because it's causing the karmic feminine to try to fly high and now she's losing the altitude. Um, she's sad. She's lonely. Uh, she didn't cry wolf a couple of too many times. So even the wolf is tired. You know what that cry wolf stuff is. Like, uh -huh. Just manipulating the situation. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. This, I need this. And why are you going out to do this? You should stay home with me. All them manipulations. She didn't cry wolf several times. This ain't working. She's still by herself. Okay. Uh, give me another clarify about this. What's going on with that? So she burnt by the sun. She was ambitious when she first started off. She didn't overextend herself and she didn't met her reach. So what's going on? What caused that to happen? She burnt by the sun. Burnt by the sun. What has caused that? Look like I've seen this before. Okay. 
because he's all upside. Cyper protection shield, bad dreams. Okay, it this thing became a nightmare. I'm gonna call this what it is. Emphasize, and I'm seeing this. It's going back to that nightmare on Elm Street. She's seeing it. She, the baby, is naturally two ways. This whole situation became a nightmare. Number one. Number two. She is literally having nightmares at night about this whole situation. Uh, Daniel Boomer said the same thing in his reading that he was saying that at the point that the, the uh, comic feminine, excuse me, I was about to say it again, the comic feminine is having a hard time sleeping at night because she's staying awoke because either the uh, the divine masculine, excuse me again, is not giving her sex, not giving her warmth, that he turns over, holds the pillow, hugs the pillow, and that's you, the divine feminine, and it's totally ignoring the karmic feminine. Uh, also, another scenario is th 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 saying that in the daytime, the divine masculine is having a hard time struggling in, in the daytime, but the common feminine is okay because he's taking her around, showing her off, being with friends, so she's all right. She's at peace. She's got things to distract her, but it's when the reverse, he finds peace at night because he daydreams about you, the divine um, feminine. But in the daytime, she's all right. She finds peace because she's interacting with people, shopping, doing things, and he's bringing her out. But he's not feeling peace because he's lying about the whole situation about being in that. So that's you, divine masculine. So you feel like you are lying in the whole situation by being in uh, in the morning time. So you can devout to say if I'm right or wrong, divine masculine, but you know that you are. So it's always I'm... Uh, forgive me about that. I am talking to you. This is your read because I got a different way. Now with the uh the comic masculine, I mean comic feminine. Why she's feeling that way? Rebellion, upstart, tumult, and revulsion. Okay. Uh, this came in reverse. I'm gonna call it the way it is. Uh, she does not feel like she wants to rebel anymore. She's coming to the point that she's like, I'm 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 really ready to succumb to this. I'm just ready to succumb. Uh, you know, you almost feel like, uh, you know, you're seeing people who are being held captive and it's almost like the flea theory. You know, you keep on trying to re rise to the top and get out that jar. And once they keep on going to the top of the jar and they keep hitting their head on the jar, even when the person takes the jar lid off, the flea is scared. It only jumped so far because it's scared of like, hitting his head or hitting his body or harming himself. The same that she's at right now. He the the you divine masculine had take the jar lid off, and she's at the point that you didn't did so many things to her. To she's at the point that said, "I ain't even got no more fight left in me. I done played every card with this crime wolf. You ain't falling for it. You turning over with the pillow. You hugging it at night, seeing it being the divine feminine." And I don't even feel like, uh, you know, I don't even, I'm at the point that I ain't got to fight any, anymore for that. Okay. Uh, who would let me know what caused that? Let me see about these wisdom cards. What caused that? Claire, why you don't have, why, why did the, uh, the common criminal don't have any fight anymore? Not too many cards. Because she's at the point now, two cards or one? Oh, one, just sure. one card. She's at the point that she feels like she's got to chop off dead wood. We got to sweep. We got to clean, sweep around your own front door, that old um, gospel song. Uh, she's at the point she's got to sweep around on front door. she got to clean house. she got to chop dead wood. Uh, this thing got to the point that it, she know it's dead. And, um... She's got a four, which means she's got to become grounded, and she got to find unity in her thoughts about how she's going to go about doing this, okay, when it comes to you. And that dead wood is you, okay. What is, let me ask you, mass angels, I did you already. Did the chakras ones, and I'm bringing them out. Hold on, because some of that will be. Okay, let me see. I don't see these on the tape. Yes, I did. I think I got everybody. Everybody's been out. Everybody's been played. Okay. Um, let me see this real quick. 
clear. Okay. What has caused her to say that she wanted to have chopped wood against you, Divine Masculine? Guilt. Okay. Guilt. Okay. For the card draw. Let's tell the story. Let's shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Tell us the story. Where is the guilt? For card draw. Someone trying to tell me already. Okay. It's true. Come back through. Bottom of the deck, four card draw, telling the story. She has guilt. She has confusion about right now how things is going. She had an idea of how this was going to go with you, Divine Master. But right now, she's confused. Uh, she's got a lot of things talking to her. Tell now, I want to say also maybe an older person, too, that you know, maybe family member, mothers, telling her, or even maybe a spirit guide on the other side, or, or everybody got that, uh, uh, ancestors is telling her. Uh, you know, this ain't right. Her other self, her high self might be talking to her saying this ain't right. Uh, the guilt uh, that's talking to her. Uh, she wants to expand to other th things. Um, she also maybe even want to get into her divinity. She sees how um, the divine masculine thinks about the divine feminine pretty much 24 hours. You can tell when you got somebody else in relationship. You know, they even reverse us as divine uh, feminists. We knew when the karmics were coming into the relationship. Uh, we could feel their presence. Uh, the same thing. So she wants to expand. She wants to expand on uh, maybe also becoming, I'll pick it up just like the divine uh, here. Uh, you know, being somebody else's divine feminine as well so that's coming in part so she wants to expand her horizons and being right now with you divine masculine that's not how she would go about doing that for card draw she feels guilt okay and then she's tired of playing the victim role okay uh that that became real old this crime wolf all the time manipulating and stuff it's kind of wearing thin on her uh, and so she's kind of tired of that. She didn't play games, manipulation, because the, the the squirrel and the dragon is about manipulation. And uh, him, the squirrel teaching the dragon did something nasty to the squirrel. And the squirrel turned around and said, okay, I'm going to teach you a lesson back for all this lesson plan that she's doing with you, Divine Master. She's tired of that, trying to teach you, trying to do the the uh Barry White teach me tonight, you know, you you saying you got all this but you know uh uh you know what 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 you bring to the table. Um tired of that back and forth. Here, okay. Uh and then it seems like she wants to recover. I mean I could go on and play the whole thing. So right now she's at the point that she wants uh recovery. It's an opposite. Uh no it's right it was no this was right and then I want that. No it's opposite uh recovery uh it seems like in some ways she don't want to recover but she knows that she's going to have to do that because that's the key to her being able to move on so although she's refusing that but she knows in the back of mind that's exactly what she wants to do okay all oh, this is reverse okay all right so i mean i could really i'm they speak it to me she wants to have growth uh, she does not want to grow. She wants to stay there, but again, she knows she needs to have to grow. At one point in time, she thought that he was a soulmate. You, Divine Mask, was a soulmate. Now that has been turned upside down. She sees you not the soulmate. She's bitter, sweet about the whole thing because part of her still loves you, but then at the same time, part of you, you get on her nerves because you're making her look like that ugly creature, creature from that. And then also, we got to upright. She's got to fire 
uh, she got a, she's looking for a miracle to happen in this situation. And you are too. That help you to get out this daggone situation. But the both of y'all have got to find balance uh, into this. Okay, I'm feeling that's it right there. Okay, I mean, it, it really, you, 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 I could go down the whole line about how that's going to go. Okay, all right, so uh, you got to find uh, balance on that, okay? Meantime, y'all got to have gratitude, her, gra her gratitude for where she is. Her perception has got to change. She's got to go by her instinct because she's got to follow her destiny, She's got to be persevering. She's got to persevere through what she's going through at this moment right now. I feel like it's two cards. And that is the end. Okay, that's all on her, what she got to do. Okay, that's more than the card. But this card's kept on wrong, speaking to me. Say, just keep on, keep on reading that. So, that is that. So, now let's get into what... Ooh, yours long. Let's go in into what is the universe want to say to you. Clear. Whoa. Okay. Solar powered. You are powered by the sun, which is yourself. You know, divine masculine. You are the sun. So you are powering this relationship. And you've got to get back to yourself finding your own power this is number three that's why i thought spirit soul and body the trinity so solar power here comes the sun clear beautiful light and shining on everything right now all you need oh my eyes are back there. all you need unfolds easily before you decisions are a snap as you uh, blink, 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 blink. pirouette into the ease of your own power of your own unlimited connection to the universe you can bask in this knowing that light shines on everything you need to know today so you are solar power you got the keys to know what you exactly need to do to, in order to get out of this situation. Last thing, since uh, she came up, I want to know what do you want to say? Let's ask the romance angels. Clear. Divine masculine, what do you want to say? This karmic feminine. What is the divine masculine want to say? This karmic feminine. Okay. And. Uh, karmic feminine, what do you want to say to divine masculine? Oh, she got a lot. You saying divine masculine to this karmic feminine, you do not want to stay optimistic. Uh, right now at this point, you do not believe that she has anything other than what she has already showed you to, or a new thing to offer in this, uh, in this, uh, relationship. Uh, and you don't want her to invest anymore as far as positive thinking or faith into this uh, coming, becoming fruitful and blossoming into anything else. This is what you want to say to her. She wants to say and re, uh, to you, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. She wants you to become more lighthearted. She wants you to open up your heart back again to her. Uh, in some ways, lighten up. But as she's saying this to you, she's kind of speaking well because she's probably really trying to keep, like them cards that said, keep hope alive. She she She's really trying to hang on by thread and keep this together. But it's got playfulness came in reverse. She really don't want to. It's time for when this playfulness comes in reverse, it's time for reality check. Uh, she wants you to take a reality check about this whole situation, uh, how you're approaching, how you're dealing with her, uh, how your openness that you have with her, uh, reality check of how she's really leaning into you and she's really entrusting her heart uh, and just everything, uh, uh, her dreams, her hopes, her visions. 
she really laid that all into you and she entrusted that into you. So she's really saying, but she needs you to take a reality check on that. And then uh, keep an open mind. Your, soul, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Uh, she really doesn't want you to have an open mind on it. She wants you to really have a clear vision as to who you think is the person that should be in your life. Um, she's really clearly wants you to start making the choice herself. She's tired of the back and forth and that swinging back and forth. Uh, just keeping her really at, um, uh, like a puppet, like on a string, just trying to see which way you, which way you swinging. Um, I'm picking that up too as well. Both of you all, she say open mind, don't keep an open mind. You saying don't be optimistic. Both of you all, uh, both saying about the way you thinking, just cut that off. Um, let that go. Um, just want to see this real quickly. Uh, what's going on with that? Why, why is she saying that? I need clarifiers on that. Uh, why don't you want her to keep an open mind? Can you clarify that for me, please? Thank you. Two cards came out. Look like this came out before because it's a never ending story that needs to end. He sees you're tired. He sees how he's treating you. He sees that how he's doing in your wings. He knows the time is of the essence. He knows the last um a lot of people's heart is on the line. Uh, this can also symbolize you, Divine Mask, and also see, I'm sorry, talk to each of you, that you see and you're putting the karmic feminine online. You see her wings is dwindling. You see the hourglass of sand is kind of pouring down to the end. Her heart is also on its last tick as well as far as this whole situation. Same thing with the Divine Feminine. You see she's tired. You see her dwindling down. You see that the last grain of sand is kind of making its way to the other end of the hourglass. You see her heart is also saying, I have an expiration date of uh, this. You see it's a celebration. You see a celebration even with you with the karmic where you're releasing that her go. This never in the story. There's something to celebrate. You're ongoing to meet with your twin. And you're seeing you being with your twin there's a means of celebration. That's what you're saying. That's what you find this not keeping the open mind because it is really about this whole situation. It's a wrap. Uh, the fates. Once upon a time, when you got into this relationship with this karmic, it was because you believed that the fates had came in alignment. The stars who came in alignment. You invested a lot into this karmic. You believed that she was going to be everything that you had dreamed of. You had found your way out of this going sliding down this hole of a rabbit like Alice in the Wonderland. You had found, but then you found out when you slid down that rabbit hole that it was really the Mad Hatter um, going all over again with the queen off with the head kind of situation that you had signed up for when you slid down that rabbit hole it was not a fairy tale that you had signed up and thought that this was going to end up with because you really thought when you did this this is your way out from the twin flame journey it was getting on your nerves the spirituality the things the way that the divine mass i mean feminine was talking uh everything together it was working on your nerves you thought this was a way out you found out that this was not really fated, this relationship. You made it man-made, but this was not a fated relationship. So that's why you're saying now you don't want to have, keep an open mind. You didn't twist it and turn it and turn it all different ways to kind of see it a different way. That is not working. I need to clarify for all three of these, the flirt, the not playfulness, and not staying optimistic. What is she trying to say to you? Where did this come from? Clear? I know this is a long read, but most of the time these divine masculines are. And I know my cross watchers want to know too. 
Okay. Here we go. You got exchanging gifts in reverse and treasure island in reverse. This is a pretty card. Once upon a time when the karmic feminine and you and the divine masculine had met this karmic, you all were really at a point that you all were exchanging gifts. Just like every relationship, it's a give and a take. You give. I take, you take, I give. It has gotten to the point that right now, Divine Masculine, when you would be in with this common feminine, there's not an equalness. She's doing more taking and you're doing more giving. Or it's the reverse. She feels she's giving more giving and you're doing more taking. But it's not equal exchange. Okay? This is what it's gotten to this point. And that's why she's at this point that's saying that, you know, I wish we could go be flirty, flirty, which means kind of child, more lighthearted, where we were doing the exchange against it. That it wasn't really anybody keeping score, anybody keeping tallies. The playfulness for this, she wish we could go back to this, but right now it's reality check time. The checks and balances are not even. And I'm at this point that right now, the, the the optimism of what I have to offer, you say I don't have anything to offer you or whatever, is uh, is uh, pretty much it. This is her role. She don't have nothing to offer anymore because she didn't gain what she could give and you two have taken, 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 taken. Okay? No even exchange. Treasure Island, once upon a time, when you all both met, you all thought that you all found buried treasure in each other. You found things within each other that you had not found with anybody else, not even the divine feminine. The more and more you all got into this relationship, the more and more things changed. And the more and more... It's coming that you all almost like Gilligan Islands. Y'all are stuck on this island that's supposed to have been a three-hour tour. And it took longer than three hours. I've said this before. I'm going to keep my eyes closed because I can't. My eyes are dry. These comic situations can come as easy and stay in your life, divine masculine, or any even the divine feminists that are cross watching, divine these karmic situations are here to either last a minute, a day, an hour, a month. It could be a year, depending on how hard headed you are. Yes, I said it, or spiritually hard headed you are in getting these lessons. I've told you from my own experience. I've had karmics come, karmics come, and I tell you, they have lasted for one day because I have made myself gotten to the point that I get that lesson, get that blessing, and I'm out. They don't last that long. I, I would say that I'm almost like speed dating these other people that come into my life. I get them. Or they could be soulmates. Soulmates don't have to last that long either as well but it is your job for you to be able to um just get the information and to go on some of you all been in these common situations too long you ain't got the blessing blessed because you're too comfortable in the situation divine masculines and right now you were looking for buried treasure in each one of you all together and now you're finding that that wasn't bare treasure. That was fool's gold, is Jill Scott saying. Send me something. Someone just ain't right. Oh, are you foolish? Are you just playing me? Oh, how I see. It will never seem meant to be. I, I play at the end. Okay, so that is. um what it is no bare, bare treasure you got fool's gold okay let me see if i can play it as i wrap up okay 
All right, so. website define twin soul 11.com and um get a reading book on my services link my eyes are gone i almost feel like talk to you blind uh go to my services link and uh click on that to get a reading remember 30 minutes is 11 dollars and 60 minutes is 22 dollars so you can get a reading with me um, this was long, but it was much needed because it seemed like the divine masculine needed a nice divine sunshine talk about you. You got to clean up and do some things here. You, you got to get off the potty. Got to get off the pot and make a decision. She's miserable. You're miserable. Y'all living in this comfort. Somebody has got to make the thing. But I'm going to tell you right now because what's happening here, some of you all between now and July 27th and beyond that if you don't get it together the universe is going to push you and it's going to push you to make a decision it's going to push you to decision to either get with your old divine twin or either continue on with this karmic and when you do that and you make decision to uh, continue with this karmic then you know that at this point uh, it's been said in several videos I've seen that that um the universe is going to set it up that your divine feminine is not going to have any contact with you uh and she's going to go on and they're going to set her up with a soulmate to kind of help her heal and go on and move you don't like that kind of them apples or you don't like me saying what i'm saying to you then you got to do some movements but that has been all in the direct currents that i felt and several readers that I've seen on um, YouTube that they all said that. And then that cycle, from my understanding, from one that not a game uh, lady, she said, uh, and I've seen it also from a Luna Ash, I told you all to also watch her as well, uh, has said that it's going to be a two to three year cycle in which that she stays, the divine feminine locks into that, and you'll be on the outside trying to work your way in to be with your divine feminine again so you gotta wait till she go through that cycle because it's things that she's got to learn with that soulmate uh and that she's not gonna be a karma if she done the work and the growth in what she's doing she won't be hooked up with a karmic she'll be with a soulmate and they gonna work on getting their things together uh as far as her journey and helping her to heal and then you're going to be on the outskirts, stuck with that karma, getting your lessons together, and get stronger until you be ready to you reunite with your uh, divine feminine. So if you don't like them apples, if I was you, i think very strongly about this. And to get these friends and these other people that's talking to you and whatever, um, to get that together because it's not worth you really the price of you being with the love of your lifetime that God has set forth and believe that this is your divine mate because they were divinely made for you you gambling 
and you're putting a lot of things at risk. On that note, I see it's 129. We stop right there on 130. So I say with you, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay elevated. Until next time, namaste, namago. Thank you. Love you. Mwah.